in meantime, we bring it back closer to this team here at home. And I've had a lot of people messaging me. What do I think of the kids' chances making the team? I like him. Right now, I've got him penciled in on my opening night roster. I look at the way he's played. He's looked comfortable. He's probably been one of the stronger players so far in camp. And, you know, there's a lot of expectations on this kid to make that jump. A lot of fans, management hopes he can make that jump. And right now, he's living up to all that hype. What say you? Let's check in on what some people are saying here on the text line. I got And a couple of other the roster races that we've been focusing on. Hey, it's been talked about to death. It started before camp, before the physicals for that matter. Can the rookie crack the roster? Can he make the team this youngster? A lot of anticipation. There's one game to go. And I'll tell you what, I would be shocked. I will be shocked if he's not on the opening night roster. He's been that good. He's been very good in my mind. I don't think this game is going to make or break based on the body of work that I've seen from him so far. Doesn't hurt if he plays well, but I think he's on this team. What say you? We'll hear from you and what you have to say, and we'll do that next. to Turris. Chase on, scouted in the offensive zone. A chance in front! Scores! And Oil Country has come alive! Now you don't have to read body language very well to see what the goalie thinks of this. He stopped most of it, but not enough. It bounces into the net. Looks to set up at the point now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Couture. Edmonton's got it across the line. To his teammate. He scores! What a goal! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Oh, if he makes that stop, he's going to be on the highlights all day, all week. What an effort. He just can't get there. Ray, give us a sense of what the strategy is here. Well, it's a strategy of caution, really, James. The coach wants him to be safe, to get the puck in deep, to protect this lead. And I found it interesting. He stopped at the creative rookie and told him the puck has to go forward. He might be a little nervous that the kid might try a risky play. bringing this one to an end. Edmonton's comfortable lead seemed to disappear, and it was a tight one down the stretch. What also disappeared was their ability to compete. They stopped working in the third period, and they ended up in a closer game than they should have. And the party isn't done just yet. No, I think it's just starting, James. The fans get to salute the players. Everybody's going to go out of this building feeling fantastic tonight. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck. If we can bring this back to the kid here for just a second, you know, we saw that moment during the broadcast where, you know, the coach was kind of on him and challenging him to just try to deliver. And I don't know if he ever really got a chance to sort of, you know, quote unquote, man up, if you will. I don't think the opportunity really presented it there. So I, I don't think you can really criticize him for not delivering. I just don't think he ever got a chance. Anyway, phone lines are open now if you want to weigh on it.